Hey gang, so in this super quick video, I'm going to show you how to set up recurring payments or subscription type bill for a client or a customer. So if you offer a service that you want to just bill somebody automatically monthly, um, this video is going to help you out. So uh, for a long time, I was using PayPal for this. So I decided to uh, switch over to Stripe a couple days ago. And um, I just want to show you guys how to do it. So first thing you got to do, you have to set up a customer, right? So we're going to click on customers and we're going to go to new and we're going to put in a little buddy at AOL.com at AOL.com. If you still got uh, AOL email address, same on you, little buddy. Um, then add in the description, uh, whoever. Create customer. Um, bam. So little buddy has just been created. Then after that, you want to go down to billing. And you want to create a subscription, right? So you want to create a subscription, but before you create a subscription, you have to create a product for that prescription. Not damn prescription, subscription. So you click on products and you create a product. So you go to new, and depending on your service, you just put in whatever it is. Let's say that you're uh what's some monthly shit? Let's say that you're a pool cleaner. So you say pool cleaning. Uh this will represent unit product. Uh, you don't have to worry about this you if you don't want to, but you can put pool cleaning. And then right here to make it uh okay, so that's too long. Right here to make it um a lot easier for the person that you're actually billing, just put in whatever, let's say it's little buddies. Uh, pool clean just so when it shows up on their bank statement they'll be able to actually you know discern who the hell you are all right then after that you just click create product um, for the pricing plan you can just name it uh whoever whoever it is right because the person will see it let's say it's for the Henderson's Henderson's pool. Um, down here, you can either do it by quantity. So if you like selling courses or selling tickets to something, you can do it um, by quantity. Or if you're doing um, something where it's by usage, um, if you're maybe providing internet services or something like that, something that would that you want to go on usage, you can either do meter usage or recurring quantity. I usually use recurring quality, quantity. Um, wherever you're from, put in the type of currency. Um, does this price of plan have multiple price tiers? So if you have something where it's like, you know, uh, silver, gold, platinum, that type of shit, you can um, put in prices for each tier. All right. So let's just go ahead and say no. We want to do it. Um, let me see how much does it cost to clean a pool? Shit, uh, I don't know. Let's say fifty dollars. So, uh, fifty dollars per pool cleaning billing interval is monthly. Usually, you know, just to give yourself a buffer in the person as well, just so they feel comfortable. Um, I usually say that the invoice needs to be, uh, no, hell no. Wait a minute. Subscriptions. It says this plan will automatically start with a free trial. No, never mind. All right, so. Um, right here it says a customer subscribed to one unit will be billed fifty dollars at the beginning of each month. So add the pricing plan. So so far we added a customer, uh, added a pricing plan, and we added a product. So let's go ahead and go back to subscription. So we got customers, we got our product. Now let's actually set them up with a subscription. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go to new. Select the customer, little buddy. Uh, you can add in all this information if you like. Add a product. 
The product we're going to add is pool cleaning. Boom. Now uh, we're going to put a little bit more. So I would say in this memo, you need to be as fully detailed as possible, right? So hopefully you guys have um, some kind of contract or something in writing already, but I would put in this memo um, everything that reinforces that. So, you know, my pool cleaning is going to happen once a month. I am responsible for X, Y, Z. I'm not responsible for X, for whatever else. Um, and, you know, this can be canceled at any time, so on and so forth. So just that could just be another safeguard, you know, to, um, to help yourself. So this is what the fuck I was talking about. So usually I go ahead and click email invoices to customer to pay manually. And I usually say payment is due 30 days from the time that the invoice is sent. Okay. Um, accepting payments, it automatically does um, bank transfers and credit or debit cards. You can add other payments if you want to. All right, so uh, start subscription. And bam, that's it. We're done, man. So you created a product, you uh, added a customer and you set them up on a subscription. Hopefully this helped you guys. We figured this out in less than 10 minutes. And other than that, have a great day.